we're going to install one of my favorite, favorite, favorite lenses, the Canon 85 1.2 LIS. Oh, I love this lens. Okay, so when you open up your package, it'll be broken into two hood pieces, a front cap, a back cap, and then the body pieces are below. We're going to go ahead and start with the easy part, which is the front and back cap. So go ahead and remove your back cap. Now I have one left over because we did a photo shoot earlier with it. Go ahead and remove your back cap and you're just going to line it up and push it on like so. It's really self-explanatory. Flip your lens over and we're going to do the same with the front cap. Let's push it on. Make sure you're happy with it. Push it down onto the Canon symbols. You want to remove as much air as you can. Now prior to putting this on, I've already cleaned this lens with my lens cloth, removing any oil or fingerprints, dust or debris that may have been on the lens. Now, I get my lenses from barlenses.com, so generally pretty clean when I get them. We're going to go ahead and move on to the body. We're going to go ahead and move on to the body of this lens. Go ahead and pry up piece A. It's the piece right above the hood pieces, or excuse me, right below the hood pieces. Lift that up. Piece A It's going to go right here. Lift that around. Pretty easy piece to put on. Hands it around we go. And when we're happy, I'm going to leave the little flap up, look at the lens, and when I'm happy with the placement, and I am, I'm going to go ahead and push the flap down. Pretty easy. We're going to go ahead and move on to piece B. Piece B is going to go right here. Now piece B is a moving part, meaning that if we cover up the seam, we're not going to get our fine focusing. So you make sure you don't do that. And if you end up doing that, you can just lift the lens skins off and reposition it. So go ahead and lift up piece B from your sheet. Put it on there. An awesome thing about this 85 is infinite focus. So. I'm just going to let the ring do all the work for me. Whoops, I misaligned that. So lift it up and push that back down. Looks perfect. The next piece is piece C. Now, what to know about piece C is that when you put this on, you're not going to line it up right there in that line. This piece C is made to overlap slightly. It's approximately, I don't know, about a fourth of an inch or so. So go ahead and do an overlap on piece C. Be careful not to cover up that seam, which I almost did. So it's just a slight overlap. And feed that around piece C. And I'll overlap on the other side. See, I didn't get them exactly even, but it doesn't matter. We're going to cover them up. This is just so our lens can last longer because the Canon 85 1.2 has a different type of body than the other lenses of the L series. So by adhering it to itself, it'll make your lens skin last longer. So go ahead and get piece D. Piece D is a window piece. So when you lift up piece D, this is a studio sample, it's not what you're getting. You look at piece D, the middle piece should stay on the sheets. So go ahead and set your lens down in a very, very careful spot. Let it roll around. Line up your window. Now I like to line it up on one side. Right there. When with that a little bit. Make sure that we, now see that was a little bit of a sticky so we don't want that. So I'm going to peel this back off. Reposition the window below the seam. Make sure we have free movement. And we do. So I'm going to put down one wing at a time. All lined up and down. Perfect. 
go ahead and grab piece E. E is just a box. And E goes right next to the auto manual focus button. Right here. Go ahead and put on piece and line that up. Go ahead and put on piece E right there. Now, um, one thing that I do when I shoot is that whether it's a 7200 and I'm trying to control the IS for staying on because I notoriously knock that button off, you can save your extra piece of your lens scan and tape up your button if you want to. It's not part of the kit, it's just a little trick that I do. So I tape on my button, I want to keep an automatic Matic focus, or if it's my 7200, I want to keep the IS on, or the 24 or 105, I don't like the IS on, so I want to keep it off, but you can use this as a camouflage way so you're not moving or accidentally messing up your button and missing the shot. Alright, so that's the body. <whistles> Who's bringing sexy back? <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on to the hood. Now when you apply this hood, lift up, piece H1 and H2 are identical, so it doesn't necessarily matter which one you start with. Go ahead and lift up H1 or H2 from the sheet, and you're going to line up this indentation with your hood lock. Go ahead and set this down so don't wobble it off. So this is hard to do on this angle. Trying to do it for the video. There you go. You're gonna line up that and you're gonna go ahead and let one side go and work on one side at a time. This um, ES 79.2 is a really circular hood, which is unusual to most other hoods I've seen by Canon. So you're gonna to wanna to line up the top portion first. And kind of stretch it onto the bottom and push out any of those remaining air bubbles. Like, see, we can do a much better job on that. So, I'm gonna lift this up and just work it slowly a little at a time. So, I'm take my thumb and push it down. See. See how much better that is that we went slow. Perfect. Go back to the other side, lift that up. Let's do the same thing. Just with our thumb, we're going to push center and then out. And miss alignments, pick it up, put it down. Bottom looks great. Realign the top portion. Now the overlap's going to cover, see how it's starting to go sideways? The overlap will cover that, so it'll be completely fine. I made about an inch, inch and a half over. Go ahead and lift up your remaining hood piece. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to identify the button cutout, line it up. I'll lean this a little bit towards me and I'll show you in the video after I get lined up because it's hard to see at that weird angle. There we go. See? And then we're just going to take it and work that around. You can be a little bit rough with this headpiece. It's fine. And make just smooth it out. Just want to get all those air pieces out. Then we're going to go on the other side of the hood. first and whoops line the top go on the other side and line the top first and then we're gonna work our way 